So the final trailer for Scoob has been released. Scoob, the new Scooby-Doo uh, computer animated movie. I'm really optimistic about this because I absolutely love Sonic. I, I'm really, really glad Sonic was great because it gives me optimism for children's movies. They're not just going to be these dumbed down rubbish films. They're actually going to be something to them. And of course there's that new Pixar film Onward coming out. So it seems to be promising in these family and children's genres. Hopefully we'll have a renaissance with them. I also have to say, I have to say it, I really, really like the Scooby-Doo movie, the one with Matthew Lillard, uh, Freddie Prince Jr., Sarah Michelle Gellar. I love it. Come at me. Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, not so much, but I, I really, really like Scooby-Doo, the original, so I've got a soft spot for this because I grew up watching it so much. I even loved the Scrappy-Doo series. I, I, I loved everything about the Scooby-Doo cartoon even that little bastard Scrappy. So let's watch the new Scoob trailer and let's see if it's some pleasant children's fun. Scoob, do you realize where we are? No. Look around, man. The clean, modern aesthetic, the cool blue color palette. We're in Ikea. The Falcon Fury. Did you say Ikea? Nope, I said Falcon Fury. Just like I would have got Matthew Lelliard as Shaggy's voice because he's just the ultimate Shaggy, I think. Zac Efron as Fred is a good cast. I love where everyone looks a bit updated for modern era except for Shaggy. I just hope it's not as generic because my biggest fear with stuff like this I thought the Grinch was pretty generic. The recent um, computer animated Grinch. Dick Dastardly. Legend. That's horrific. <laughs> I quite like the trailer, I do feel there's a sense running throughout of generic and that's a worry for me because the Grinch movie was just generic, you know, it was nothing bad but it was just kind of a generic story and nothing really stood out and it didn't really have the the messages and I, I am a, a fan of the live action Scooby Doo so I'm going to be comparing it to that and I feel like there was an energy and a swagger to that movie, I really really do. I know people will hate me for that, but there was a charisma to that movie. I really, I, I remember watching that. I still really like it, and I feel like in this, I just hope they don't update it so much that you just forget who these characters were. Because obviously there's jokes about Netflix in it. You know, I Velma and Fred and uh, Daphne. They look mo modern. They look modernized. Uh, Shaggy's the only one who reminds me of his old counterpart. So will it work having Scooby-Doo in modern day? It's an interesting idea, but it's never really been done. If you think about it, even back in the Scooby-Doo movie I'm talking about, they still looked like products of their time. They still looked like they were out of place. There wasn't really a time period for that movie. For this, they're literally legitimately saying, this is modern day, Scooby-Doo modern day. And I don't know, I think I'll be wishing for the nostalgia of those classic Scooby-Doo cartoons and that's what I think that the Scooby-Doo movie did well it captured that nostalgia for me this looks like an update and I guess you have to do it to bring new kids into it the humor was pretty pleasant it did have a nice pleasant vibe throughout it there was a nice kind of fast-paced energy to it a few funny little jokes 
I really, really hope they focus on the relationship between Scooby and Shaggy, which it seems they're going to do. And it will be sweet seeing how they meet and seeing how they develop that friendship, because it is a touching friendship. It really, really is. And I like how they've got Dick Dastardly in it. Maybe they'll make more references to other kind of classic Hanna-Barbera characters. Obviously, Dick Dastardly is from Wacky Races. Absolute legend. But yeah, maybe they should try and make a Hanna-Barbera uh, cinematic universe because I love those cartoons and kids need to get into them and if kids can't bring themselves to watch that old animation we need to introduce it to them because those cartoons were classic. Jason Isaacs is voicing Dick Dastardly and I think that's a really really good choice it's the sort of actor I would pick to play Dick Dastardly. Zac Efron of course as Fred is ideal casting makes me actually want to see him in a live action Scooby Doo movie because he's just the prototypical Fred. Will Forte is voicing Shaggy and I'm hoping that he can captivate me the way Matthew Lillard did because Matthew Lillard completely became that character. But yeah, what do you guys think of the Scoob trailer? Do you think Scooby-Doo can be updated for modern children? Do you think they can get into it? Do you think there should be a Hanna-Barbera extended universe? Let me know in the comments down below and please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Check out the other content on my channel and I will see you guys next time.